Hello YouTube, my name is Tim and uh, the US amateur radio call sign is Kilo Delta 2 Alpha Victor Uniform and uh, today we'll be talking about after you get your technician license what you can do with it. Okay if you look at the band plan here you're gonna notice uh, there's a certain portion of the VHF and UHF band um, it's labeled as a single side band or CW only. That's a portion of the band we'll be talking about today. So, as you know, if you get your technician license, you can do a lot of things with it. Like, uh, say, get a Bowphone HT and get on your local repeater and uh, get a mobile radio, FM radio, and then. Uh, started talking to people all around you. Packet radio you can do and uh, the satellite communication um, like the using the FM birds uh, stuff like that but uh, we'll be talking about specifically today about those weak signal portion of the band which is often uh, located at the lowest portion of your VHF, UHF and microwave band Okay, so let's get started. First off, we'll be talking about equipment. What equipment you need to get on this portion of the VHF and UHF band. Well, you know, it's a pretty simple question. You will need an uh, all mode radio to begin with. It doesn't matter uh, which which brand, uh, what, num uh, what model number is. And uh, there are single band uh, two meter rigs that does FM, AM, CW, and single sideband, like the good old Kenwood TR 751, which I have one. But uh, for most of the newcomers on this band, you will probably find yourself getting a, a radio like this, a full mode, so called all band mobile radio like this Yaesu FT100 I've been using this radio for a while and uh, actually I had the 100D before but uh, I sold that radio but I miss this radio so much so I decided to get another one but uh, I would not recommend for uh, newly, newly licensed people to get into this radio since uh, there are some design flaws that need to be fixed, if you're not handy, uh, probably will not be able to practice these modes on this uh, particular model. But anyway, there are other options out there, like the Yesu FT857 or 897. Those are re relatively uh, inexpensive radios. If you're on a really tight budget, say if you have uh, $400 or less to spend and you can get on the used market and get one of these. This is a Yesu FT817 and uh, it's a QRP radio. Um, I know some people will be thinking, oh it's only put out 5 watts but uh, it's actually a very capable rig and you can always add an amplifier um, to this band to these two bands and uh, the amplifiers are relatively cheap uh, around hundred and hundred fifty dollars you can get an old Mirage or similar amps like that okay so uh, that's pretty much it about uh, the uh, radios okay that's uh, pretty much it about the radios basically you need a all mode radio that does CW, single side band, FM, AM that will get you covered okay let's move on to the next one so when you get the radio you need an antenna and uh, what antenna to get um, generally speaking uh, this portion of the band 
uh, one big thing about the antenna is the uh, polarization of your antenna and it's not gonna be vertically polarized anymore like uh, as if you are on the FM portion of the band you can't start with uh, making it just simple horizontally polarized dipole and uh, it's a uh, Rel relatively easy to build or if you want a, an um, harmony pattern and you can build a or buy a, a horizontally polarized loop antenna so as being said uh, polarization is uh, horizontal what I like to use is uh, the homebrew uh, two band beam right here Okay, it's a four element on two meter and six element on 432. And uh, I designed this antenna based on the uh, DK7ZB design. Um, the original design is a four element on two meter and five element on uh, UHF. And uh, what I like about this particular design is that you only need one feed point you only need one feed point to feed your antenna and uh, the driven element of 2 meter also uh, resonant on uh, 432 and uh, there is a called a sleeve element in front of the 2 meter driven element that uh, uh, will acting like your um, 432 uh, driven element but uh, if you're interested in uh, this design, I can um, put a link up uh, up here. Don't let the size of the antenna uh, fool you. Sometimes uh, a little antenna like the one I have here uh, will surprise you what you can do with it. Um, of course, you know the more element, uh, the more gain, the antenna gain. But uh, sometimes uh, when you know how and when and where to operate uh, you're gonna have a big big surprise uh, with the antennas you can either build your own or uh, buy a commercially available antenna if you just wanted to get your feet wet I highly suggest you to get a horizontally polarized loop antenna basically it's a folded um, uh, dipole antenna into a loop Okay, let's move on to the next subject, uh, which is the feed lines. Um, on these band, uh, the insertion loss of the coax cable is extremely high. Um, so you will be needing high quality, low loss cable, and uh, you can get you can get away with thinner cable like uh, like this cable I have here. Which is the uh, the so-called uh, LMR240 equivalent, but uh, it's actually uh, the Andrew brand, and uh, it's relatively thin, uh, about the size of the uh, 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 RG8X, I believe. Uh, um, this cable is uh, pretty good. It's uh, relatively low loss, but. Uh, Another thing to uh, be concerned is uh, sh keep your feed line as short as possible. You can probably get away with uh, 35 feet of uh, feed line using the LMR240, but uh, if anything longer than 25 35 feet, you will need LMR400 equivalent cable um, to have a relatively good performance. Um, with your antenna. Um, remember, you're not just losing power on the transmitting side, you're also losing power on the uh, receiving side. So, um, cable length and uh, uh, the insertion loss of the cable that all plays in this uh, equation. So, keep in mind, keep your feed line short and uh, use good cables. Hopefully, I've covered all the points in this video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment below and I would be more than happy to answer your question.
and uh, if you like my channel please uh, subscribe uh, this is uh, Keto Delta 2 Alpha Victor Uniform I'll be saying 73 until next time